name's Gavin Morris. I play football and golf. My name is Megan, and I play field hockey and lacrosse. Uh, my name is Haley Dean. I play soccer. My name is Jake Ventimiglia. I play football and baseball. Um, my name is Callie Price, and I play field hockey and lacrosse. Uh, my name is Allie, and I play softball. <laughs> I play high school sports to uh, make friendships and compete against other athletes. I play high school sports to give me a sense of like time management and responsibility. It gives me something to do after school and it's also a stress reliever. Um, I play high school sports to sh stay in shape and because I like the team atmosphere. Just for the experience and like the people that I get to meet and just to be more involved in high school. High school sports teach you how to manage your time properly. They teach me valuable life lessons and they teach me how to be a more competitive person. How to deal with stress. Oh, it teaches you how to work together as a team. They teach me like, I guess, well, being if you were a freshman playing with a senior, it's like a big kind of age difference. So like uh, age doesn't really matter. Like you can all play the same sport and love it all. and be like together. High school sports teach me a lot about patience and working with people who have a different care for the sport. Uh, my biggest fan is definitely my mom. Are my parents and my grandparents. My parents are my biggest fans. My parents and my family. Definitely like my mom and dad. My biggest fans are my parents because they come to every single game since I was start playing sports. She's always there to support me. They're always at my games and cheering the loudest out of everyone. They not only like made me the person that I am, but they're also there along the way to see what I can become. Um, I think parents should not get involved in with referees because it's kind of not their place. You know, they're doing their job. It should be the coach if there is a problem. No, it's not their job. It's the ref's job, the ref, and the parents' job they root the players on. Um, I expect my parents to be encouraging. It's always helpful when I hear their voices after I do something good on the field. I don't really expect them to have constructive criticism like while I'm playing because it doesn't really help. Um, I expect them to cheer for me and be proud of me after the game. Uh, I expect them to cheer me on to their best effort and watch me ball out. Um, probably just to support me and cheer me on to do my best. Have the sportsmanship we do as players as well to the parents and be as kind as they can while also cheering for me. Um, I definitely would expect my mom to be shouting as loud as she can, doing these weird chants that she does. And definitely my dad just being like, hey kid, here we go, like in his deep voice. Failure to me means uh, learning from that failure in order to succeed in the future. Failure definitely means to me like it's like the first stage of getting to what you want and like what like the perfect thing you want so. Failure in sports is kind of a indication on improvement and it's not necessarily what you're failing on but it's what you can improve on. I think it's like a learning experience. Um, there's stuff that we do that can be failure to us like anything and as long as we just learn from it and just go against it and just keep pushing to be our best, like I think parents should be supportive when you do fail because um, it's you're already hard on yourself when you fail anyways and them being hard on you after that, it kind of just builds on. Um, I think they should just push me to do better. More encouraging than getting mad at me. Probably my dad because um, they kind of know when I'm doing well and when I can put in more effort to what I'm trying to do. Um, it just stresses me out during the game and kind of makes me nervous. If I'm going up to bat and I'm really stressing because they're standing right behind the plate and I freak out because I really want to get a hit and then I just swing at the first crappy pitch and then I just look stupid and then I just start swinging at even like worst pitches and then it just goes downhill to a strikeout. After a game, I expect my parents to be supportive in like what I did and not really point out the things that I did wrong. 
not necessarily get mad if I did bad, but just say, like, you did a good job no matter the outcome of the game because, you know, you're already beating yourself up if you did bad or whatever, if you made mistakes, so. I would want my parents to support me even if I think I had a bad game because it just makes me feel better. You know, come for me if I lose or, like, when I win, you know, tell me I did a good job. Um, I expect them to be proud of me and to help me um, fix what I did wrong for the next game. Definitely for them not to start like all their parent drama like why didn't you do this and all that like you know like for something maybe that I did good in the game like thank me for, or um, congratulate me for it be like hey you did good like keep working at it like you're going to do better or you're going to get it. I actually thought about it when I was growing up playing these sports but as of right now my commitment is not there to constantly practice 24-7 and just be there throughout the day trying my hardest because I, I kind of want to like just live and also do things that a teenager would do. Um, I've been like debating and whether like playing pro or not, but I would say that it's not really like likely for me to even though I want to play in college, but I think that like I'd rather focus more on like education and um, going to college for that instead of soccer. Well, there's the NPF for girls softball, so that's the National Pro Fast Pitch. And honestly, I wouldn't really want to play because it's a lot of, like, time. And definitely it's like a job. You do get paid for it, but it's not really what I want. I'd rather go live life, have, like, a family and stuff. I mean, I'm not saying you can't have a family with that, but you're just, it's a lot more than, like, what I want to do with my life. Thank you mom and dad for always being there to support me during my games and also grandma and grandpa for being the loudest and creating new cheers just to cheer me on. Um, thanks mom and dad for always coming to my games and supporting me even though you don't know what you're talking about majority of the time. I like to thank my parents for always cheering me on in the stands every single game. <laughs> mom, dad, I love you so much for supporting me in uh, everything I do. Uh, thank you so much for coming to all my games and doing everything for me. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to my mom and my dad for um, always being there after my games and being there at every game. I can always hear my mom cheering me on, and I can always hear my dad's voice after the game if I did well, so it really helps knowing that they'll always be there for me. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for everything that you've done for me for the past 12 years of my softball career and helping me get to where I am now. And uh, honestly, with the thousands of dollars that you pay a month to a year, I don't know what I would have done without you. Mm -hmm.